Welcome back to Wasteland 3, folks. I am trading with uh, Snappin' Jimmy Bob, and I'm thinking... So this chest armor, all this doesn't do anything, and it's quite valuable. Whoops. So let's sell that. I sold all our junk, so we now have 515, which isn't too bad. I guess we don't need two of these. Mangler, polar rocket, 32 to 48. Forty-one to sixty-eight. Forty-one to sixty-one. So, all right. So, here it's worth twenty-five. So let's try and talk to Taiwan Jones up here and see if she'll pay more for questions. it. Hey, Jones! Welcome to Taiwan Jones's Emporium. My store, Sardine Lee. No, it's the same. Twenty-five. Old security drone. I loved this job. Wait, that's 14 here. The mangler. It's the mangler that we were interested in selling. Hi, y'all. Name's Snappin' Jimmy Bob. Let's trade. So the mangler here is worth 14 as well. Okay. We'll sell that. We'll sell one of these. Ice axe. Um, let's. Mm. We'll keep all the weapon mods and stuff. Applies twisted wrist to restore ten percent con. Okay. To restore ten percent con. Okay. All right, so we're not selling those, I guess. We have a lot of cigarettes and stuff. They only sell for one, so it's not really worth it. Okay, so... Let's... Take a quick look at our mission log. So we have this one, Gideon Reyes. Hmm. So that's level 5. Big trouble in that Vegas is level 3, and we haven't found a way in yet. Hmm. Don't you be my neighbor? Into Irv's apartment. Corner rats. Okay, so these are completed, so. Full house. We're missing the garage mechanic and an armory quartermaster as well. No, we have an armory quartermaster, don't we? Didn't we get an armory quartermaster? I thought thought we did. Ah, that's the museum. Okay. Have you ever noticed that the statue's eyes follow you wherever you go? Hmm. Well, there are some uh, crates over here. I did not notice that before. Let's take a look at those. Focus and some cigars. Suture kit and medic pack. Nice. There's a crate over here. A toolbox. Two repair kits. Anything else around? Doesn't seem like it. Tommy Cutter. I haven't talked to these people in here. Mama Cutter. Jimmy Cutter. Well, let's talk to them. Talk to Mama. She always knows what to do. All right, let's talk to Mama Cutter. 
Grizzle and gnarled as an old oak tree, the round little woman scowls at you from under her scarf, eyes invisible in a face that is more wrinkled than is more wrinkles than skin. You got business with Mama Cotter? I don't know yet, Mama Cotter. Uh, yes. Ha! No, you don't. Come back when you do. Until then, scram. Okay. Pleasant lady. Anything around that we can steal? Necroticism, that's the traveling busker. I don't really want to hear his song. There's a container. Scrap, dollars, and a cigarette butt. Okay, guess we'll grab that. Okay, so how do we find a way into this place? Into the back rooms. It's not over here, is it? Yeah. Okay, what else can we do? He has some... What's that? So... That's his microwave, and I guess that's the power. Okay, it leads over... There. Okay, let's head over here and see. There's nothing. Some trash. Sad banana. It's hard being soft. <laughs> okay. Hmm. I don't think there's anything that we can do here. Can we get power to his microwave somehow? Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. In here, maybe? No. about over here? No. There has to be something we can do with that microwave. Let's see. I don't see anything that we can... Reads up there. What? We already fixed that generator. Don't see another one that we can do anything with. I have no idea. Nothing here. Nope. Weird. It's almost like it's missing or something. Who knows, it might be. Hmm. Is there anything power related around here? No. How about over here? No. Well, let's try talking to the dog. Oh, we're 
Tri requires Animal Whisper 3. Okay. We need to get that up. Seems like there's a... That's the generator inside, isn't it? Okay. Let's try the cat. Fires Animal Whisperer 2. But I am not the Animal Whisperer. Um, who's the Animal Whisperer? Uh, you are. That's a face. Does he get experience from that? If he does... I don't have Animal Whisperer, do I? No. Hmm. Alright, let's head back in here and see if we can't find a way into that. We might have to do something else. Um, let's try. Let's try. So, if you're enjoying the series, if you're enjoying Wasteland 3, if you're enjoying the videos, uh, I'd really appreciate it if you'd leave a like. And if you have comments, tips, tricks, anything like that, uh, please leave them in the comment section below. And I read all my comments. I reply to most of them. And if you're new to the channel, why not hit the subscribe button and the notification bell as well, so you know when new videos are coming out. All right, come on. So maybe we can get some people to fight in here, which will take oh, him I away. Dancing in this place. It's the best. Uh, but I've heard a rumor that there's an exclusive secret dance party up at Aspen you every year. You stowed away on an sure Arapaho convoy? I've never been Oh my god. Aspen. Tell me everything. Oh, you've never been? You simply must. <laughs> you want to pay for I it? I look cool enough for this place. Mm. You stowed away on an Arapaho convoy? Oh hey, you pallies! Try your hand at a game of luck and skill? Roulette's the name. Drop a bet on the table, I spin the doohickey, and you win big if the ball lands on your choice. Red or black pay even money, but zero pays ten to one if you've got the stones. Okay. You any well, other now, games? there's a game called High Low that Mr. Brigo used to run back in Vegas. Couldn't be simpler. You wager either high or low, and I roll this here die. One, two, three is low, four, five, six is high. If you made the correct call, I pay you even money. Easy, huh? What do you say? Mm. No, not right no now. No stomach for it, eh? No problem. I'll be here after you grab another round of drinks. Can we find a way in? So the nightclub enforcer there. Oh, I love dancing in this place. Oh my god. Tell me everything. It was uh, It was dirty and cramped and I pitched through a hole in a truck mm. bed. That's just like so authentic. What are you doing? Didn't I tell you nobody's supposed to touch that computer? All right. <laughs> oh man, I love dancing in this place. Hello again, red hats. Hey, we need. You know, you took Delgado into the bad back rooms. We need to get in there. We met a guy named Keldon. Kendall. What's with that name? Can you tell us about another badge? We need around. <laughs> you like it? He used to be a real lady killer. Then he made the 
unwise decision to double cross Mr. Brigo. So the boys took him into the back room. Had him in there for weeks, poor bastard. You could hear his screams clear across town. He came back with a face that wasn't so pretty anymore. And without Master John Goodfellow. Kendall, get it? What a revolting story. That's yeah, so. he didn't like it much either. <laughs> <laughs> no, I guess not. Uh, can you tell us about See this band? one with the skull? Sheriff Daisy gave it to me for dealing with a corrupt marshal. She was a beast, let me tell you. Must have had some kind of mutation. Eight foot tall with fists like bricks. But I gave her the old razzle dazzle, took her down. Razzle dazzle? Is that what you call falling while running away from her and tripping her with your quivering ass? <laughs> <laughs> that worked, didn't it? She fell face first into a fire plug, knocked her cold. We know you took Delgado into the back rooms. Well, ain't you a clever seed of red hats. But let's not be rash here, yeah? The only way you're getting past that door is through a hail of bullets. And no one wants that, right? Look, it wasn't Mr. Brigo who conspired with the Dorseys. He's not that stupid. But a little bird told me it was someone in our organization. I can give you a name. All you gotta do is prove this guy was acting on his own. Okay. Mm, that makes sense. Tell us where to find this guy. What's it? It's for you. Way I see it, everybody wins. You get your culprit, and we don't get in trouble with the law. Once you clear Mr. Brigo's name, I'm sure he'll release Delgado. Hmm. <sighs> I'm say it's Look for our guy. man McTavish at the machine shop near Pillory Square. I don't care what you do to him, but if you can come back and prove the rest of us weren't involved, I'm sure we can make a deal. Yeah? Also, I didn't tell you this, Red Hats. Okay. McTavish. Until next time, Red Hats. All right, let's go talk to McTavish. Oh, man, I love I've heard a rumor that there's an exclusive secret dance party up at Aspen every year. I'm for sure gonna get an invite this year. I've never been to Aspen. Yep, let's travel. Doesn't seem like anyone is really nice in this place. It's just everyone is kind of doing their own thing, looking for, out for themselves and no one else. It's not a very pleasant place. I also feel like we've been in Colorado Springs for a long time. Alright. Like Tavish. It's over here, isn't it? Set in here. Should I call it? Call who? Oh, just this woman. He's Do been in love with forever. Pacer. They met in the bazaar, and she saved Fast him from getting back. into trouble. But now he's too scared Gosh. to do anything about it. Whoa! Hey! <laughs> Okay. Last Make sure you take care of that bike when you get to it. Bit of shine. That rust trap? A lot of freight. Because this was Jimmy Longhall's first cause. When it gave up the ghost in the plane, he salvaged what he could. Turn it into it's not over there. I guess it's... <laughs> I guess it's this place down here, repairs made, but... Can we get in there somehow? Maybe I'll join the forces. We're coming. Do you get 
drummed out in a second, you crackpot. I'm sure they could use my help. By Dorsey Thugs. Weston family confirmed dead. Hmm. Yes, travel to the machine shop. Alright. Are we making progress? I have no idea. The penalty for breaking the law in Colorado Springs often means time in the pillories. In Colorado's freezing weather, this is effectively a death sentence. Yeah, we saw that earlier. Not a very nice place to, to be, honestly, Colorado Springs. But... I'm guessing that it's probably better than the rest of the wasteland. So, is this gonna be a fight? I actually want a hawk up front. Machine shop thug. Shop foreman, machine shop thug, machine shop thug. Okay. Oh, look. This time the marshal sent substitutes to shake us down. Well, you stand ins get one warning fuck off or get fucked up. Okay. We just want to talk to McTavish. Yeah? Well, McTavish doesn't want to talk to you. And you just used up your one warning. Fuck him up, boys. Bloody knew it. Okay. So I was taking some damage here. Ready when what was you that? are. These machine shop jerks have high armor and weapons with low penetration. Will have a hard time punching through. Try using sniper rifles, heavy machine guns, or blunt weapons. Energy cold fire and explosive damage will also bypass armor altogether. Okay. What the frick is that? Okay, let's move back here. You. Oh, we don't have any action points on her, damn it. Mm. Let's do this. Gonna put you down. Okay. Well, let's defend. We have Seuss here. Forty-four percent, forty-four percent, ninety-five percent. That heavy machine turret. I would really like to get down. I'm a little bit worried about hitting Hawk, though. All right, it's down. Good. Here. I'm not much for killing dogs, but. Marshal Kwan. Um, how far can you throw a Molotov cocktail? Not far enough where you are now. Do this. Alright, the dog's on fire, the other guy went down. He's on fire. The Sears revolver has six penetration. She needs to get up close though.
Hmm. Let's just get in here for now and prepare. Right, the dog should die, right? Yep. You down. Get over here and smack him. Oh, damn it, she got on fire. Um, defend. Get over here. You have a hundred and two penetration, so that's kind of nice. More action points. He's almost dead. He's dead. Good. Yeah. Nice. For me. Fucking box. Hey, what's left? Oh, there's a dude back there. And a dude back there. I had not seen that. Um, let's ambush. Certainly out of range. Let's move up here. Seuss. No. Let's carry over. Lucia. You carry over as well. Let you box in. Ow. I feel like we take a lot of damage every single battle. Uh, get up here. And then you can apply that. Seuss. Out of range still. Get up here then, Seuss. Thirty-nine percent. That is not a whole lot. Missed. What's your hit chance here? Sixty-one. Head over here, still six, 61. We missed. Damn it! See ya. Out of range, of course. See ya, just prepare. Hit catch fire there, so we're not moving that way. Let's move over here and prepare. Prepare. Okay. Oh. Get over here. Smack him. Smack him again. Can't. 
Uh, let's get back here. Action points. Pair. Okay, if you come over here, then you can finish him off, right? No. Let's try again. There. Fox. Special clone, that's out of range. Take percent. Well, we hit him. Oh. All right. Man, Marshall Quan didn't level up. Damn it. That was the whole point. Tommy gun, submachine gun, 11 to 15 damage, the Chicago typewriter. Okay, loot that. Twisted hydraulic, bent actuator, melted capacitor, medic pack, nice, scrap, dog hair, shotgun shells, money, scrap, optical sensor, and cutting blades. Ammo, junk, and something, scrap. Okay. Uh, there's a chest here. Ooh, machine shop chest armor plus four. Armor plus three. Mechanics plus one and armor plus two. Nice. All that. Let's disable that. Can't get back there. How, how do we get in there then? Uh, let's see. So, who is our mechanic again? You. That has armor plus four, that only has armor plus two, but the mechanic skill is really nice. Oh! Marshal Quan did get a level up. Nice, nice, nice. Armor plus four, armor plus three. Uh, armor plus three, armor plus three. And he can get a matching outfit. Who's missing something? We're missing some armor. Is everyone armored up now? Yeah. Nice. Alright, well, you need a skill, and you are going to get sneaky shit. Um, you're not wearing anything. So, let's just take sneaky shit it up to five. And we'll do attributes. Let's see skills. Uh, you want coordination, awareness, and speed. I think I'll give you speed. Yeah, speed. Then you have a perk. Um, gophers. Uh, second chance. You think you've been spotted? Freeze, hold your breath, and wait a beat. 
require detection time plus one seconds. I'm not really sure how that works. I think I'll take that one. Okay. Then we have Lucia who leveled up as well. Well, already has really hard small arms. Let's take a look here. Um, so you have weapon, weapon modding and survival three. You have armor modding. Mm. Oh. Either we give Lucia the weapon modding or we give ourselves the medding, weapon modding. And what about barter? Maybe we do barter for Lucia and not and just drop it for us. Or we just give her higher small arms. Hmm. Does she have any uh, thing on her? Yeah, that's luck. Well, yeah, critical hit chance plus three, so that doesn't really matter. Mm. My survival is already at three, so I don't really want to spend that on her. Hmm. And you already have weapon modding at three as well, and so does she. So we're not going to spend any more on weapon modding for me. We'll give it to her instead, I guess. Is there anything else uh, that we want her to get? Hmm. First aid might be nice. We only have the one first aid. Weird science. Do we have anyone with weird science? Yeah, we do. Yeah. I think I'll go with some first aid for her as well. And then we'll go with some awareness, I think. Or some speed. Small arms. Coordination, luck, awareness. I think speed is really useful for it as well. Let's go with awareness. And then she has a perk. Strike meter charges a bonus 5% with each successful handgun attack. Doesn't it just piss you off when you drag out a combat by hiding behind cover? Shotguns do plus 100% damage versus cover. Not bad. Hmm. Actually, the armor might not be bad for her because her strength is crap plus 35 percent con would be nice on her as well or plus 35 con let's get some health for her all right, then we have a container over here. 
Five dollars and a tin can. We have an ammo box. Bang throw a few five. All. Wait, 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 wait. There's a container over here. Stuff. Anything else around? It doesn't look like it. Right, so we're out of time, and I'm guessing that this whole thing isn't over. Where, where's the rest of our guys? That's five. Where's number six? There. So, we can talk through this, I guess, to the dude in here, and we'll do that in the next one, because we are way over time. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.